Welcome to video 16 in a series of introductory videos for SolidCAM. This video's topic is facing or face turning. So in the turning module and the mill turn module, we can use either the face of the solid or this profile here. And it's usually the profile that we use for, for the face turning simply because it is just a simple line. So let's take a look at how that's done. I'll just open up a turning operation, face. The, uh, the uh, operation manager is the same between the milling and the turning modules and milling turning tool paths. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna choose new geometry. And I can choose just this one line here to represent the face. So from the profile, that single line represents this entire face. And even though it doesn't extend the entire stock, that's okay because all we need to do here is just choose a piece of geometry that represents how deep in Z we need to face this part and then we can come to the modify geometry and just have it auto extend to the start of the stock and in this case we can auto extend to the end of the stock so now that simple piece of geometry that we selected has now been extended for the entire stock so i'll click the green check mark to accept that let's go to tool select and similar to what we saw in um, in the tool table video in video two we'll set up a turning tool so i'll just go Add turning tool, I'll say composite tools, and I'm just going to make a tool very quickly. Okay, so I have my tool. Make sure it's mounted correctly using these icons here. In turning, there are no levels. Levels section really just controls the safety distance, how far it will stay away from the updated stock. And that is actually one main difference between the turning tool paths and the, um, the milling tool paths. We don't have an upper level, lower level. We work off of the updated stock. If I go back to geometry and take a look at how we selected that geometry, you can see there's a green line here, a green outline that pretty much represents the entire stock. So that's where the toolpath will start and end. It's looking to just get rid of that material. So when we get to technology, we can see that we can either do front face or rear face turning. We can work as a working area with the stock, that green sketch that we were just looking at, or in this case, we can extend the target by a certain amount. Rough type, stairs versus smooth, doesn't really apply too much in facing, but when we get to video 17, we'll take a look at really what that does. And then here is our step over along the Z-axis. Since we're doing this as roughing by default, we've left 8 thou on, these, on the Z face, but if I wanna do some finishing with the same tool, I can either set that to zero, or if I want to do roughing up to that and then do a final finishing pass, I can just check that box right there. The link section controls the lead in lead out, or in this case, the approach point. So we're approaching from the right safety corner. I've already extended it uh, to the ed edges of the stock, so I don't really need a lead in lead out, but if you wanted to, you have the ability to add that here. We'll just do a save and calculate. And we can take a look at the tool pass in the profile view, and you can see that there's a couple of roughing passes and then a final finishing pass. So th that now updates the stock, so that face has now been turned. And then the next tool path won't even see that material. We can start our turning tool path in video 17, starting at that line right there. So any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your questions or your parts via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.